Is it lower my expectations or this man just be really slacky? Like, duh. See a pretty girl and you say you can open the door. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, what's happening? What's really happening? <laughs> On this episode, channel is a girl means aka me ma aka j low j lowness aka pepperina but best for what best for shit and if you're new here thanks for stopping by and if you're returning subscriber you guys are ready for how i feel about you thank you for returning i love you guys so much yeah so hmm. What are we doing? What is Jello up to today? A few moments later. I don't know. <laughs> ah, welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, so a quick disclaimer. I thought this was going to be a weekly vlog. So yeah, things got changed. Hence why it's a single video. Back to the video. <laughs> I'm such in a good mood to thank God for that. So, anyways, I didn't have any plans for this weekly vlog, but as you guys know already, I'm like, girl, pick up. I'm going to record a very boring day vlog. All right. <laughs> you can't be puppet. You can't be. Ah, it's giving sweet, babe. It's giving natural is giving it's giving jello series at home <laughs> anyways i'm in love with my red nails like i have been loving it like anywhere i go i literally be talking on my hands i'm like oh um okay yeah <laughs> anyways um i just want to give you guys a little i just want to have a little chit chat with my girls because girl last vlog or my last vlog i didn't really say much and if you haven't watched my last vlog boy what are you doing go and tap on it to get on the chases it's life is this is jlo's life this is jlo's cam <laughs> cam documentary whatever 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 anyways i'm just going to be giving you guys so much gist and it's just going to be me talking, 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 talking. You guys know me best in story times. I have to come back and give you guys what's up, like, what's really tea? Do you know, like, what's been happening? So for my girlies that want to know what's up, you guys know I have to give you guys details. to give you guys details because, boy, mm. Anyways, so, um, last week I went on a date. <laughs> you guys, I don't know if it's just in my head or I've been expecting too much these days from men. Not maybe too much, but I've been expecting them with like the whole masculine energy pouring into like my feminine diva, di oh damn, Div divinity, damn. <laughs> oh, oh my god, but yes, like pouring into my whole feminine femininity yeah so anyways i went on a date with this guy and he's been making efforts like we've been talking for like the longest time and i am the type to always run <laughs> i don't know why but like i'm best in running <laughs> in town because apparently he doesn't stay in nigeria again and i didn't know so i was like he texted me, hey, what's up, listening, blah, 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 blah. And um, of course, I'm like, you just give this guy a chance because I've been going on dates. And the whole dating experience has been an interesting one because dating to me feels like fun. Dating to me feels like 
to me what it feels like is like oh, I'm, I'm doing psychologic tests or people like are practicing the book i'm reading all these guys so i agreed and then we planned like the whole night like but it, that couldn't work because of course um, i can't i can't stay out late or whatever so we agreed on something and he came up was like oh i hold oh, what's the plan like so i know what to dress up like because i want to dress according to theme i like to put effort in whatever i'm doing so that you know i i won't when i'm coming it's like damn <laughs> so i like to give this jaw drop first impression like i like dressing up that's just the thing so yeah we went okay he asked me where are we going so i asked him what the vibe was and then he said um we sh i should just something classy and chill yeah i'm like mm, okay no problem that's actually my vibe i like men that actually make efforts because it feels like for me to it's it's like for me to actually leave my house i want to i won't leave my house if i don't want to like that's just facts like i won't feel pressured or whatever I got dressed and he called he texted me and was like oh um do i have any place in mind i'm like no <laughs> no don't put me on that so much, that kind of pressure right now because i don't want to be that kind you just come up with a plan and said okay um so the night is going to be we're going to meet his friends at crush cafe from there we'll like teach them and go i'm like oh okay no problem sounds cool then he came he picked me up cool and we got to crush cafe crush cafe is not a bad location like everything was chilled everything was going on well so i'm getting to crush cafe we don't reach now like okay <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be all gentlemanly and like open the show. <laughs> That's the thing, like you guys. I'm so used to men opening doors for me. Like I, I don't know. So I was having so much expecting. <laughs> oh my god, thinking about it now is so funny. And he was like, <laughs> you know why nobody the person of God is like oh, okay, you know, like see that you go for this doors. <laughs> we get to crush cafe and to me, I the whole date was okay, but I re I didn't really feel like prioritized in the sense that when we were working, like it was working so ahead of me, like I don't know. And even when we got there, like his friend was with his wife, they just got wedded, and everything was going on smooth and nice. But you know when, of course, the your your new year. This is my first time of physically meeting you. Like at least the least you could do is stay off your phone, like and pay attention. So I'm seated here and his friend, the guy, and his friends, his friend's wife, my side, and then there was him in like last table. It was just weird to me because, like, I'm not the type to like usually use my phone outside. Like once I'm in outside space, I respect environments. Like so, I dropped my phone. I don't know you guys it was just weird and don't get me wrong this guy was screwed this guy he, he has that masculine energy tributes like i don't know that's that's the conflicting thing about it like that energy is sexy and but there's just a but there's just a but in whatever it was of course i was uncomfortable there and everything was just feeling weird and like out of place so in my head i'm like oh, okay from here we're going somewhere else like this is just me and you and in that place we're playing snooker so I'm, and you know how snooker places be like it's just full of men and we're like the bar chairs not bar but like just long chairs with like long stools so i don't know everything was just weird and and he kept on using his phone, using his phone. So now the thing is, he's a nice guy, but you've been you've been out all day, you've been busy, and if you actually wanted to see me, you would have properly made plans or do something. So yeah, I think the thing with dating this period and 
why people ask me you know you've been single i've been single for a while i've been dating like i've been going out meeting new people but you know when like relationship relationship like i don't just want to feel present because i know what i want and i know what i am worthy of i i know what i bring to the table like I know I know what I'm about and I would appreciate what I want for myself is someone who will pour into what I already bring and like flourishes me versus like what are my plans that like just keep nourishing me and feeding me well. Fluff, I love myself so much, like it's crazy, like it's crazy when people people like you know you to love yourself, like yes, bitch. Like that's my advice to you girls. Like you girls should just learn to love yourself. And pour out to somebody if you're not fully loved. You need to go into whatever it is, knowing fully well of what you want. We're not trying to set it for less, we're not trying to do any of that shit. <sighs> yeah, so there was that and it wasn't so bad because later we kept on doing shots like, oh my god, once it oh god you guys. One thing that kept me so attracted to this guy was, oh, it smells so nice. Like, you know when somebody hugs you and you're feeling, oh, <laughs> oh it, it, yeah, oh, nice, it smells so nice. And it was clean, like, that's my turn on it, man, like, clean, man. Uh, check. Good looking, check. Well, well, what do you call it, like, you know when somebody makes effort, check, check. It's just so crazy. Well, anyways, I just want to tell you guys that you guys, before you point to somebody else, you need to realize your worth. You need to realize that you are the price. If somebody's not giving you expectations, I'm not trying to say that you should go in feeling or whatever. People are not perfect, but like, don't just settle for less. I hope you feel me. So yeah, that's just what's up last week and what again happened last week. Um, it's been a good week, honestly, you guys, like, looking at my page, you guys have at least 500 subscribers. Don't blame me that day if I am extra, <laughs> if I'm extra as fuck, because, guys, guys, all of you watching me, if you're still watching this, God bless you so much. I genuinely, I am so grateful, like. I don't know like it's, it's just so crazy looking how far i've come like i remember days before i started my youtube like i would literally lay in bed and cry i don't know i'm such a cry baby like god please help me realize what i'm doing god help me put this vision into place all my life i always knew i wanted to do youtube but i was scared you guys this is me being very vulnerable like the fuck this is jello this is jemima in real life this is jemima on filter this is jemima's tv yes so this is mima's tv anyways um hope you guys are doing good and it's christian fasting most churches are doing the whole 21 fasting and if you're fasting i hope you guys are doing well in your spiritual journey oh, i have so much conviction in my heart that this year is going to be a good year Hmm. It's been good. Yes, and oh my gosh. <laughs> my life, you guys. There's no help. We don't have any help in the house. And it's so crazy because now I literally have to do everything. Like, it's not like there's so much. It's not like I'm cleaning or whatever. But once it comes to cook, I'm the one cooking. That you guys, oh my God. In my life. In my life. Whatever I was telling me, eh, she's cooking. I'm like, oh, I can I can come back home late because um, no, um, there's someone at home doing that there's cook. So there, since I've figured out there's someone shot at home, my parents and there's someone at home. And, but now I'm like trying to rush back because I'm the one cooking. <laughs> It's just tough. Anyways, <laughs> hope you guys are doing good. I feel good. I smell good. Hmm. I've been reading. I've been reading good books. Like 
I just anytime I read books, you guys please check out that book because I promise you those books shaped my mind. And I hope I am to keep yourself motivated. Make sure you guys watch positive things. You guys watch motivational things, um, podcasts, read journal. These things have importance. Like twenty twenty four is going to be your year if only you mean it. If God has given you that vision, then you can be whatever you want to be. Don't try to be like somebody else. Don't try to be like anyone. Just be you and always be confident in God because God will never leave you nor forsake you. And God's plans for you are so great. That's what's up. Yeah, I just want to give you guys my, my whole dating experience because it's crazy. Like what's happening what's really happening <laughs> ah and i need I, is it lower my expectations or this man just be really slacky like duh this girl and you say you can't open the door <sighs> i beg anyway i hope you guys are doing good i don't even know what i plan on doing for this vlog like i said this is a very boring day in my life nothing is going on nothing is happening even me too, I'm bored. I'll just go and turn on the TV and watch myself on YouTube. <laughs> Very vain. I think that's what's up with facts. Let's go and do that. <laughs>